Hi, it's Nick James here from the Internet Marketing Training Club and also the WP Download Page Protector plugin. In this video, I'll show you how to integrate the plugin with ClickBank.com, the global internet retailer. So, what we're going to do now is let's go and create a thank you page. Now, they're going to be creating a couple of videos here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a thank you page for uh, ClickBank first. So, um, let's call it thank you for your purchase um, and then I'll put the word click back after because we're going to make one for JVZoo in another video so here you can put um, yeah, thanks for your purchase please click the link below to download um, now obviously with a, a ClickBank thank you page you need to talk about Kinetics, what's going to appear on the credit card, yada yada yada. However for this I'm sure you know how to do that. Um, uh, well, let's just make a dummy download link for the sake of this as well. Um, okay, click here to download and what I'm going to do is, I don't know, I'm just going to highlight that. I'm going to make a link and I'm going to suggest, I don't know, the customer goes to google.com. Um, anyway, let's just add a download link there. Well, let's publish that page. Okay, now the page is published. If you scroll down a little bit further, uh, can you see the box here which says WP Download Page Protector? Well, if you click this, we can turn it on. Um, so now the page is protected, and now we the system asks, you know, what are you protecting this page? Um, you know from and who you, who you can allow access to this page so I'm going to leave that set to Clickbank but you know we've got the options here of Clickbank, JVZoo and PayPal at this time in future uh, in a future time we might also add some other payment gateways as well but let me say it's going to be protected by uh, Clickbank now if you sell your products by I don't know three different methods um, what you would do is you'd actually create three different download pages which link to your product obviously you can have a download page for JVZoo, download page for, for PayPal etc um, so let's say that we're protecting this page, but only people from ClickBank who buy through ClickBank can access it. Um, we'll then go and click on update. Now what that means is uh, if we go and view that page now, we're not going to see it. We're going to get we're going to be diverted straight away to the restricted page um, because we did not come from ClickBank. So that's what um, your customers are going to see. However, let's just go back to um, the dashboard for a second. Let's go to pages. Um, and let's go and get that thank you page link. To do that, what we can do is we can just hover over where it says view. If we right click and copy that um, link location, um, if we, we want to put it into a new tab, obviously, we paste and go, um, it goes to the restricted page. But when we go into our ClickBank settings, I'm going to take you to a ClickBank account I kind of don't use anymore. Um, I'm going to show you how to set that page up with one of your products in ClickBank. So once we're logged into uh, clickbank.com, uh, we'll go over to settings, and in settings that's where you find my products, and it's where you can add some, some new products. Um, so I'm going to edit this product here, which is a, a demo product for testing the WP download uh, page protector. And essentially what you do is you fill in the form as normal, let's say for a moment we're selling a piece of software or an ebook or something. Um, and this is what it's called, it's called test product for testing, it's in English um, and this is where you have the option of um, putting in a link to a um, sales page, um, how much you want to charge for it and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a link into the thank you page down here. Um, now remember we copied that directly from um, here, we right clicked over view um, which is the link to the page, um, we copied that link location and we have just gone on and we've pasted it into the thank you page URL box over here and then we'll click on save changes. The next thing that we need to do as well within um, Clickbank is we need to create or find out what our, uh, our secret key is. So on the Clickbank control panel under settings uh, head over to where it says my site and then scroll down to where you see this under advanced tools um, there is space for what's called a secret key. 
Now it might say that you know you might need to be a programmer to use this or what have you. This is why the, the WP download page protector plugin makes it really simple for you. Okay, so we're going to create a secret key. Um, so click on edit over here on the right and, and then it gives you the opportunity to um, to enter a secret key. It's an alphanumeric value of your choosing. So here's what we're going to use as our secret key. I'm sure you can think of something more secure. Just QWERTY 12345. So I'm going to do that and click on Save Changes. Okay, there we go. We've now got our secret key set. If we scroll down, we can see it here, QWERTY 12345. It's an alpha numeric code. Um, obviously, I'm going to be changing this after this video has been recorded, um, and I don't actually sell using this ClickBank account, so I think that this is going to remain the same. So, but once we've got this uh, this value here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to copy that and we're going to go back to our WordPress site, go back to settings, and then the WP download page protector settings. And what we need to do is we need to put in here the ClickBank secret key. So I'm just going to right click and paste that into here, and I'm going to click on save changes. And um, pretty much we're done. Now, if we make a test purchase for that product from um, Clickbank we will be sent to the right download page so let's just go back to click uh, bank for a second and the first thing I'm going to show you is how to make a payment link if you don't already know how to do that so I'm on settings and I'm on products and where it says about setting up your thank you pages and your thank you URLs if you just click on this information link here for more information it takes you to some instructions if you scroll a little bit further down um, it will talk to you about making a payment link under number two over here. So um, I'm going to take a payment link here. Uh, this is the default code for um, ClickBank. I'm going to make it item number one. So I'm actually going to uh, remove the word item and put the number one in there and remove the word vendor and put my vendor name or my ClickBank ID into this box here. But that's essentially how you make um, a, a payment link, if you will, um, for your, your sales page, if you didn't already know how to do that. Let's just highlight the, um, the default code from ClickBank. Let's go back to the download page protector for a second. Let's go and make a, um, a sales page. In fact, let's go and edit the sample page here. Um, let's take out that information um, and put in here, here is a link to buy on Clickbank um, so let's highlight that and let's go and make the link so we'll just copy and paste what um, Clickbank have given us in here um, the item number is item number one and the vendor is automatic for the purpose of this particular demonstration whatever your Clickbank nickname is you just pop it in this box here and I'll click on add link um, let's update that and then just go and view that page and now we can we, this is our buy link now to go to Clickbank so within Clickbank let's make that test purchase on settings and under my site now let's go down to uh, testing your products this is part of what you need to to do in order to request a go live let's click here to generate a test credit card so we'll click on edit and we'll click generate new card number and obviously we just need to enter the little capture code in here as well okay so these are the test card details that we're going to be using for this particular purchase so let's go to um, copy that card number and now we're going to link to the to the order form off we go to Clickbank it's in test mode um, and we can start putting in sort of our details into here so um, I'm going to put in um, my US address and my US postcode, my zip code, um, cold holder's name, uh, card number, which is what I copied from ClickBank. Let's go back to my site. Let's go and get those details again. These are our test card details. So let's go and copy that. Here we are. This is the right tab. Um, the expiration date is 03-2016. Uh, the security code uh, 213 and an email address uh, 
Okay, so when we click on Pay Now, um, instead of being redirected to the restricted page, um, we should be sent to our download page. Okay, thanks for the sale. Okay, it's given us our receipt code. Let's click OK. Your payment was approved. That's all looking good. And now we can access the product by clicking the green button. And here we go. Thank you for your click about purchase. And you can click here to download. So because the uh, the system knew that you were coming from ClickBank, um, we are able to use all the information here in this string at the top here to make sure the customer is sent direct to the ClickBank download page. So as long as you have set your um, your secret um, word, your secret key within your uh, settings here um, under my site, as long as you have set that secret key just here and you've entered that secret key within your WordPress site, remember just go to your dashboard go down to settings WP download page protector settings you've entered that in here then your customers coming back from ClickBank will be sent to your thank you page instead of redirected over to the restricted page. If you've got any questions uh, my email address is support at eshowcase.net uh, for more help and advice um, you can also check out our seven day e-class um, under the settings here you've got details of a free e-class you can take uh, which has been written by myself or feel free to go and check out my main website at internetmarketingtrainingclub.com in the next video i'll show you how to do a similar uh, setup and protection with jvzoo